today we'll be talking about Baroque architecture. Baroque is known for producing a flair for drama and emotional aspects through light, spatial complexity, ornate style, and the integration of painting and sculptures in the buildings. We'll be talking about St. Peter's Basilica, perhaps the most well-known form of Baroque architecture. Before St. Peter's Basilica was totally rebuilt, an attempt to renovate it was made at the end of the 15th century. However, Leon Alberti called it a structural abomination, believing it would fall apart soon. Soon after, it was demolished and rebuilt in 1505. To rebuild it was three men across a century's worth of work. Those men were Bramante, Maderno, and Michelangelo. Together, they would produce what is now known as one of the crowning jewels of architecture. One of the main features of St. Peter's Basilica uh, that really embodies the Baroque architecture can be seen as a response of the Protestant Reformation uh, happening, and this is the main facade. So this facade is an oval shape with two ends that sort of open and symbolize um, the arms of the church, which make it inviting for people to come. The next aspect is inside the church, which are the twisted or spiral columns and refer to Solomon's columns. And this is um, just an integral part of Baroque architecture. Lastly, uh, the painted ceilings that mainly have religious and meanings and an emotional touch. And painted ceilings are also a common theme in Baroque architecture itself. Today, I'll be talking about St. Peter's Basilica and how it impacted both the architectural world and cultural world. As we know, St. Peter's Basilica is known as one of the largest churches in the world and is also one of the holiest Catholic shrines. Many liturgies have been performed here throughout the years in massive numbers. Now, the influence on church architecture. Um, some of the designs from St. Peter's Basilica, especially its dome, has been replicated in many other churches throughout the continent, like some in France, Czech Republic, Austria, and even England. Now, in the 19th and early 20th century, other churches have also imitated elements of St. Peter's in greater or lesser degree, like the churches in Chicago, Milwaukee, Pittsburgh, and Montreal. 